What's going on guys? Welcome to the Thailand vlog. Oh man, hope you guys enjoyed that edit. Oh, whatever. I'm currently in a place called Koh Samui, which is basically in a small island just near Phuket. Um, and this place, man, is beautiful. As you can tell from my voice, I sound super sick. But um, yeah, as you guys saw in the edit, this place is so nice. Um, the pool that you saw in the edit was that sort of infinity pool leading out to the ocean. Super nice views where you eat breakfast from as well. And then this little pool here, that uh, private pool that we got. Um, so yeah, it's been super relaxing. Just actually finished a, a one hour full body massage. So my body feels more relaxed than ever. So I thought I'd just jump in this freezing cold water just to kind of wake myself up a bit. And I actually really wish that I had a pool back home because it helps so much with just um, recovery and it's just another form of resistance. So it helps with, you know, knee pain and just feeling more active. So if you guys, you know, have a pool, or you know you have access to one then just I would recommend using it all the time or as much as you can you know to just try feel more mobile so that's what I've basically been doing I've uh, been doing some sightseeing so a lot of walking a lot of burning calories a lot of cardio which has been quite fun as well and I think there's a gym somewhere somewhere in this resort so I'm gonna try find that maybe get in a workout tomorrow once all this relaxation from the massage has worn off but yeah, welcome to the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you all like the edit. If you did, smash the thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next clip. Peace. All right guys, now I know I said I was gonna go to the gym, but you know what, I thought, since I have access to a pool and since, you know, I'm always gonna go to the gym at home anyway, and the content just is always the same, why not switch it up a bit? So I thought one thing I really wanted to kind of always film and just try out, which I've never done before, is pool plyometrics. So I'm gonna try that, see how it is. Um, I've got some exercise listed, which I'm gonna take you guys through. Um, and yeah, I'm, at the end, I'm just gonna recommend, you know, whether I think, you know, it's worth doing, if I felt any benefit from it, and, you know, some pros of it and some cons of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm super keen for this, never done it before, so it should be fun, let's do it. All right guys, so the first exercise that I'm gonna do is basically just some pogo jumps. Now, if you guys haven't done pogo jumps, Basically, it's all working on very minimal ground contact. So it's similar to a squat jump, except you're not really bending the knees. It might just be the slightest bend, but you're basically keeping your legs stiff. As soon as you land, you're just hopping back up those short little springy jumps, not really going for those power jumps. And just minimal ground contact is key here. I'm gonna be doing three sets of about 10 to 12 and my heels basically aren't even gonna be touching the floor. Uh, I'm just gonna be landing on the balls of my feet, jumping, balls of my feet, jumping. So three sets of 10, let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't have a GoPro with me. Um, so if you guys really wanna see another pool workout, comment down below and next time I'll try to get access to a pool, get a GoPro so you can guys see what it looks like underwater as well. But for now, I'm just gonna try to do my best to show you guys what it's looking like just normally. Second set. The water sometimes moves you around, it's a bit hard to gain control compared to if you were just doing normal flows, but just try to keep that core tight, try to keep a good form. One positive of doing it in the pool is you have more time to land and get yourself gathered, so it's a little bit easier in that respect. But yeah, just try to keep your body as uh, upright as you can. So that's the first exercise done. Now for the second exercise, we're just doing some regular squat jumps. Now the difference between what I just did and squat jumps is now you're doing more bend at the knee, close to about 45 degrees. Uh, your whole heel, your whole foot is touching the ground now, not just the balls of your feet, and you're getting a little lower. Now, 
Ideally, it's better to do this in a bit of a shallow end, but since this pool is all one level, it's kind of up to my, um, it's kind of up to my shoulder area. I'm basically just gonna put my face in the water a little bit just so I can get down enough to produce that force and get in that, to that 45 degree uh, angle. But if you guys have a shallow end, then try maybe doing that first. Three sets of eight for this one. That was fun. Now into the third exercise. Now third exercise is gonna be a lot harder than the first two. Now we're doing a squat jump with a 180 twist. So you're gonna jump, twist, land, jump, twist, land. So we're gonna do four sets of six. The first two sets we're gonna be twisting, we're gonna be twisting right to start with um, and then going back on the, on the left. And then we're just gonna switch that on the last two sets and go that way. Now with this, you wanna make sure that you're jumping and all your rotation is in the air, not, you know, jumping and then landing and then trying to twist, like, at a delayed sort of thing. So you wanna make sure you're jumping, all your rotation, all your movements in the air, and then you're landing with your feet squared on the other side, just like you would when you're going for a normal jump or a dunk attempt. So that's what I'm gonna do here. This is great for your core, because your core's moving against that water as resistance, so your core's gonna feel it too. So let's do it, four sets. If you mess up your set, don't worry, just stop, restart. Also take as little rest time as you need until you feel like you're fully recovered, then smash that next set. Don't leave too long of a rest time if you don't really need it. You can feel the core on that one. Second to last exercise, we're gonna be doing some tuck jumps. Now, for tuck jumps, it's easier in shallow end as well for this one, but one good thing about doing it in a deep end is you can kind of really push yourself to try get your knees above the water. That way you know, you know, if you can get it on the first rep and then in the next few reps you don't, then you know your intensity is decreasing, which it shouldn't be. So it's a good way to make yourself aware of if your intensity in each rep is decreasing, which you don't want. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm really gonna just try get down low again, maybe get my mouth deep in the water. If you don't wanna do that, that's fine. You can just do more uh, subtle kind of jumps. Don't have to bend down as much, but just do what works for you. Let's do it. lost form a bit the water's kind of pushing you around so you have to work harder than just on ground you kind of stay upright but man that was good because I had to really engage my core um, obviously you're not going to be landing as quicker so it gives you a bit more time to kind of regather which is good um, but yeah that was super fun two more sets I think I got my knees above the water I'm pretty sure so I'm going to keep trying to do that and not drop the intensity Okay, for the very last exercise, is just some high knees inside the water. So you're not trying to get out of the water, just some high knees. So I'm gonna do two sets of 30 second intervals. Oh shit, the camera's getting wet. So two sets of 30 second intervals, as explosive as you can. You can count them in your head or you can just set a timer on your phone. I'm just gonna count inside my head and yeah, pretty self-explanatory. That's the pool workout done. Now straight up, would I recommend it? 100% because that was just so fun and it's just a different way to switch up your workouts, give yourself, give your body just a totally different stimulus than if you were training with weights or if you were training just normally. So I would recommend it. One, a few cons I would say is one, it takes a lot of kind of 
core strength so maybe if you're just starting out and you can't, you're still trying to get that control doing regular plyos maybe this won't be the easiest thing to do uh, in shallow water it would be a lot easier so maybe you can start there but if you say for example only have a pool that goes quite deep then it might be a little bit hard it might not be suitable for everyone but I'd say it was you know it was challenging and it was beneficial because I felt like I was able to you know challenge just you know feel that kind of stimulus that I would do that I would feel in plyometrics so I would highly recommend it if you feel like you can do it um, and yeah another con I would say is a lot of water gets in your ears and it's kind of like how well you kind of do it is just dependent on a bit of the kind of open factors as opposed to closed factors so if you're doing plyos inside a gym it's kind of just dependent on how well you execute it whereas with the water with the wind with all of that stuff it kind of can sort of impact but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's like a huge thing, but that's it. Oh, and one con I forgot to mention is there's not much exercise variation. So obviously a lot of it was just squat, uh, variations of just squat jumps. So you can't do too much in the pool. Um, you know, maybe there's a couple exercises that I missed out on, but obviously you don't have as much variety. That's it for this vlog as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Coast Samui vlog. Um, I know I didn't film too much apart from, you know, just the edit and the pool workout. But to be honest, I'm basically just going to be chilling here, relaxing before I get back home. And then it's time to get back on the grind with all the gym workouts and things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!